old one had a plug. Interesting. But even though it had damage to the outside tread, there's no damage on the inside. And South Main Auto is saying when you have a tire that has a plug in it, chances are it ran flat and the tire's junk. And interestingly, this tire sure looks like it ran flat to me, but I don't see any visible damage on the inside. Nothing. It's still a cheap Chinese tire, and I'm putting on some new tires that are retreaded in Spain. 120 bucks installed and balanced. And they are Inserterkabo Eco Evolution inside. You gotta do it the right way. I have to go check. I have to go check. Retread made in Spain. 120 bucks installed for retreads. Dean 4x4 is gonna be. You see this? Inside. Inside. You know what that means? Uh, I don't know. Clean the bead? No. What? Inside, outside. Outside. Number one. And where'd my nice Mercedes steel valve cap go? Right there, I think. Ding. I got the same machine. Hard to believe. Done. Installed. Don't get whacked by the knee. The shin grabber. Excellent day. Fill her up. Don't get popped on my clean clothes. Bang. Poof. Bing. Getting breezy here. They're getting busy. Late in the afternoon. It is four o'clock. Having a good time. Oh yeah, my Mercedes. My Mercedes gas leak. I already took a peek here. Can't see very much. But, there's the gas filler pipe, and it's leaking somewhere where it goes into the gas tank in this mess, somewhere in there. All kinds of junk, nice complicated car. Got a little bit of surface rust, just a little bit. Where's it leaking from? Nobody knows. Just a little bit of rust, look at that. Not as mint as I thought, but it'll just have to do. Getting new tires. Lots of good tires at the flea market in Opalaka. Opalaka. Yeah. I am putting on oversized tires. Whoa, that hurts. Oh, man. Let's see how much bigger my new tires are. I got two sizes bigger. I went from 205.55. I went to, holy crap, hope they fit. That is a lot bigger. From 205.55 to 15.60. Yeah, my speedometer will be off and I can't rotate them, but it doesn't matter. How do they look? My oversized tires. Hope they don't rub. Ooh boy, getting real close. Oversized tires. Is it good or bad? Does it make it dangerous? Is it change the handling characteristics? Does it matter? Does anybody know? It's better to have a good oversized tire than a bald Chinese tire that I thought was ready to blow. Alright, we're just descended and my oversized tires got lots of room. You'd never even know they're oversized. Wait a minute, what happened to the balancing? I didn't hear him balance the tires. Wait a second. They didn't get balanced. Time to talk to the man. So, what will I do? All right, off they come. I thought that they balanced them. Why do they do that? The woman says, I said, well, you're the one running the shop, not me. Anyways, off they come to be balanced. I'm not sure what the operation is, but I guess it's what you get. When you go to these fly-by-night shops in a tent at a flea market. Uh, what are you gonna do, huh? There's the interstate right there. Uh, off they go. 
my retread of tire. <laughs> All right, let's see. Six and a half inch. Oh, six, eight inch? How well is that going to stick? Two tires. I like to glue them on with construction adhesive. Never come off. May outlast the tires. Really close. Okay, part two. Every time you look at it, you find another little scratch, another mark. So I went to see a convertible top specialist. He says the Mercedes all have seal failures. They've got five cylinders and a pump. He says on this particular model, to change the cylinders, you have to remove all the panels 
because everything is buried, hidden, can't get to anything he says. It's terrible. It's the worst model, or a, a really bad model to have to repair. He says, the car is really nice. I said, it's got a couple of flaws, but the top is like brand new because it's never been lowered and it's always been stored in a garage. You can see a little fold here where the top had been down. He says, there's micro switches all over the place. He says, but the cylinder seals fail, so that's why my convertible top's not going down. Unless there's also a, a switch failure plus a seal failure. Anyways, the tires are paid for, they're back on, they're nicely balanced. I'm not sure if I made the best arrangement putting on re-shredded tires. But I gotta do something. I've got a big drive ahead of me, 1,500 miles. And those tires weren't as bad as I thought, but now I got brand new retreaded tires. So we'll see how the trip goes. They're nicely balanced. They were 120 bucks installed. And they're bigger and they're nicer. And the weather's changing a bit. And we're gonna head north. I thought I'd go to the car auction, but it's gonna be closed. It's 420. So I'm gonna miss the auction. Too bad. So that's the story from Opalaka. Gracias, mon ami.